ladies and gentlemen, here we are at Galleria Agnella, part of the wonderful Southern Highlands Arts Trail, and I'm very honoured to be here with Mr Jamie Boyd. Thank you. Welcome. Th thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. Now what do we have here behind us? Uh, the white horse, mm -hmm. which I did from a sketch. This was a horse standing in the middle of a pond and a wonderful reflection. I know I've done my best to depict the scene. I actually moved around a lot, but I, I did take a few photos. So. Oh, right. So, so I got that. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, and pencil sketches. Right. Yeah. How wonderful. Now, Jamie, what is your process with creating an artwork? Ah, that's a very good question. It works on a lot of different levels. I mean, you start off just having a, not even a thought, but a, an impulse, some kind of intuition. And then I think actually the medium that you're going to use comes into play that's very important because whether it's pastel or oil paint like this and also whether it's on a board or canvas they tend to direct you those very sort of material things like that and then sometimes they start very spontaneously just making a mark without thinking too much about it and other times it's a charcoal sketch and sometimes you continue along the same path that you started on other times it's you scrape it off and start again. Start again. Now Jamie it's obviously a lifetime of work. At what age did you start painting yourself? Ah, I think I was probably about 14 when I actually sold little oil sketches as Christmas presents and things. And then I had my first exhibition when I was about 16 or 17 in Adelaide. Have you ever done a full count? Well, how many? I sometimes trying to work out what, what it would average out at each year, but it'll be in the hundreds anyway, maybe getting towards a thousand. And where can we see your paintings all over the world? Well, there's some, some public collections, but they mostly would be in private houses. And, uh, yeah, just as is? Yeah, like this. Yeah. Lovely, you love going um, sort of a little bit more boutique. I don't really have a preference, but in anywhere and everywhere, is to, if people focus on the, the artwork, then doesn't matter too much. Yeah. And exhibitions, you, I've had exhibitions in quite a few countries in Europe and Australia, of course, and, and England and in America. So they're pretty much dispersed across the world. But a wonderful <coughs> father, Arthur Boyd. Yes. What was it like growing up with a, a full-time artist in the family as your father? Th yes, well, he also did that. He grew up, but his father was an artist and a potter goes back a few generations. So there are lots of different aspects because he was at home, he worked in a studio in the house. So that was good because I learnt a lot from just standing in the studio watching him work. And he was there and present yeah. Yeah. in your childhood. Yes, he was there most of the time. Everyone always asks you about your, your wonderful, famous artist father. Mm. But what about your mother? Tell us about her. Yes, well, I think my parents met at art school. So, and she was a very good painter. But she uh, gave it up in order to have a family, which might not be the same nowadays. Did she ever no. take it back up later in life? Uh, not, not really, but she did do a bit of writing, and I think she was fairly occupied supporting my dad a lot, just general office administrative stuff. Any uh, large plans for the next sort of few uh, years or any big projects? I actually got to a stage where I, th I was thinking I could just do anything on a whim, so to speak, <laughs> in, in, within the, you know, painting, rather than, I think when one's younger, you think in terms of producing a body of work for an exhibition and you want it to have a, a theme or a, right. uh, have an impact in, in some sense, you know, might be, not in my case, but, you know, a political statement or a, a explores a certain colours or a particular subject matter. But I was thinking, as you get a bit older, you imagine you're going to have more freedom to not be conscious of what the public might think when you yeah. show your work. You want to just do whatever comes to mind. But with the same discipline that you might apply to painting for a, a commission or a, an exhibition. So ladies and gentlemen, the Southern Highlands Arts Trail is coming to an end but the wonderful Boyd exhibition here at Galleria Agnella is still continuing up into the mid-December, so please come on down and see these wonderful works.